Hello, my name is Melissa Shank and on behalf of Expert Village, today we're going to be talking about Facebook and how to join, get started and to first, of course, register. I'm sure you've probably heard of Facebook from either your family, your friends or your co-workers. So let's now get you joined on Facebook. Now the first part of Facebook getting started is of course getting to the website itself. So you have to go onto your computer and put www.facebook.com. That's going to take you to the site itself. This is the next page you'll see once you've typed in facebook.com. You'll notice that Facebook is a social utility that connects you with people around you. Now, everyone can join as it says. We're going to register in a moment. Please notice before we register though, to the left hand side, do you see right under the word Facebook where it says email and password? After you have registered, that's where you will type in your email and your password to log in at a later time. But for now, let's register. Now you'll head to the register and start using Facebook page. So you aren't, you're going to want to put in your full name and figure out, do you want to say I am in college or graduate school at a company in high school or none of the above? Now, what you want to keep in mind is that Facebook isn't just one big site. It's made up of a lot of separate networks based around things like schools, companies, and regions. This is how everyone gets connected on Facebook. If you want to see the profiles of your classmates or your coworkers on the site of Facebook, be sure, this is very important, to use either your school or your work email address to register. I, for instance, use my work email address as opposed to my personal email address. Now, on Facebook later, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to include that in your profile, but it's better to use your school or your work email to register. You're going to be able to search for anyone on Facebook, but you can only see profiles of your friends and the people in your own networks. So after you've decided what your, of course, your email address is going to be, you're going to put in a password, put in your birthday in there, and then you'll find a security check. Once you've done all of that, then hit register now. You've actually now done the hardest thing, you've joined. So in the upcoming clips, we're going to get your profile built, we'll have a look at the wall, we'll have a look at all of the applications, but first, let's take a quick site tour of Facebook.